Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Magical Ultra Gyrus. My name is Sarah, also known as the Mighty Bun Bun. Let's get started. Long, long ago, there once were two opposite magicians, siblings who shared a world. Together, they were supposed to protect their world and the people who lived in it. That, for all of eternity, was the role of a magician, a being who lived only for the sake of others. This was especially true in their world. These two magicians were supposed to work together to purify corrupted spirits and send the calm souls to the afterlife. However, the two magicians controlled different aspects of purification. The only magician, Ari, who had the power to purify spirits, while his brother had the power to control the corrupted spirits. They were supposed to complement and help each other in their common goal, but seeing his supposed comrade as a potentially dangerous hindrance, the magician Ares mercilessly killed his brother. Shit. However, in the battle, magician Ares' power was shattered and it became a shadow of what it once was. And so, he had no choice but to rely on the people of the world to help purify corrupted spirits. The ranks of people who sign up to work for this cause came to be known as purifiers. From the ranks of the purifiers, there is always a single person, the holder, who holds Ares' power and randomly obtained a fragment of a magician's powers. At the very least, Ares was able to re restrain the power to his city of Stelia. Since that fateful battle between the two magicians, eons have passed. Over time, people forgot about the existence of Ari's brother. Ari himself also decided to fade into the background, leaving his work to the many purifiers. And now, this is a story of Iris, the present holder of Ari's power. Prologue. Hey, Iris. It'd better if you forgot about me, huh? I'm not a good person after all. I don't want to negatively influence your young mind and all that. Oh, don't worry. This definitely doesn't mean I'm going to I'm just going to abandon you. Good people will always be by your side, I swear. Ha! Huh? Like I said, I'm not a good person. So that doesn't count me. But still. Well... See you again someday, Iris. Whatever that may be. Don't forget this part too, but I'm going to try one more time for your sake. You wandered off for a bit from the main city to be by yourself. Eventually you found a way to this secluded hill. Even if I'm the new person who has Eric's power, no one cares about what happens to me still, huh? Ah! You fell down. Here's someone approach you. Are you okay? You still haven't gotten up even though you fell. Are you okay? Uh, no, I'm not okay. Yes, I'm fine. You sit up. Who are you? I didn't think anyone else would be out here. I'm... Raphael. It's nice to meet you. I'm here because... When are you... When are you? told me I should spend time outside, too. It's a bit strange how he told me to specifically come here, though. When are you? Huh? Oh, well, um, I'm Iris. I see. Are you out here, Iris? It's dangerous for normal kids to wander off like this. Isn't there anyone who's worried about you? Uh, uh worried about me? Raphael looks at all this grace on you. I see. Oh, and... I guess I'm not a normal kid anyway. I'm the current holder of Ari's power. Ari's power? I see. That explains why the energy around you felt a little different. You could tell? But why isn't anyone taking care of you? Oh, uh, well, my parents are already gone and I don't really have anyone. Even if something happened to me, the power would go to someone else, so it doesn't matter. It might even go to you. And. Ever since I got this power, my body doesn't always listen to me. And so you fall down a lot. Mm-hmm. You say it's because my body isn't used to the power yet, but 
It's okay, even if I get hurt because of Ari's power. Well, um, it's okay, though. It's okay if people don't really care about me. I'm used to it, since it's always been this way. So here, Iris, I'll be right back. Huh? Don't go anywhere, all right? I don't want you to fall. Okay, I'll stay. Good. I won't take too long. Okay, Raphael. Come back soon, okay? I will. Sometime later, you're sitting by a tree waiting for Raphael. I wonder when Raphael is going to come back. What if he's just lying and wants to make fun of me? Just like the others. What am I waiting here for? But then, I'm sorry to keep you waiting, Iris. Raphael comes back holding a medical bag. There weren't really any of these where I live, so... Iris? He sniffles. Ah! What's wrong, Iris? You really came back. Raphael kneels down and hands you a handkerchief. Of course I did. I said I would, didn't I? Come on, don't cry. What's wrong? Did you fall down again? Do your injuries hurt? No, 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 I'm... You aren't okay, so please don't say that you aren't. <sighs> but hurts. Not when it matters. Now then, Raphael takes out medicine and bandages from his bag. What's that? You were neglected so much you don't even know what medicine is? Oh, um, I know what medicine is, but I don't really remember anybody bothering for me. Don't dwell on that, Iris. This is just for you. Hold your arm out, please. Like this? That's fine. Just stay like that for a while. I feel what's a cloth. There's some kind of liquid and gently wipes your scratches with it. It burns. I don't want this anymore. My injuries heal faster than normal people anyway, so... It's not that important to use medicine on me. I understand that. I'm fine how I was. Ah, hold still, Iris. This is going to help you, I swear. And please don't say that. He did come back just to help me. You let Raphael manage your arm. Okay, that's good. And now the treat any other scrapes too. Ugh. I'm just going to fall again later, so what's the point? I'm gonna end up being a big ball of bandages if this goes on. <laughs> Maybe you real you really wouldn't get scratches if we did that. But if you get hurt again later, I'll do this for you again. Well, of course. You need help, and I'll be there to get it. Well, so, I can't believe the adults are doing anything about it. What is Win Ryu doing? I'm Raphael. What is it? Um. Thank you. Sorry for being difficult. Or, um, thank you for putting up with me even though I was being difficult. I didn't think anyone would. <laughs> You're welcome, Iris. <laughs> so now, I guess I'll come run here whenever I want to see you. I don't think others really know about this place, so the rude kids won't bother me. I mean us. If you're okay with that, <laughs> of course it's fine. I'll try to be here when I can, too. Yeah. I don't want to be a bad kid who always wanders off, but no one's watching me anyway. I see. How old are you, Iris? I'm seven. What about you, Raphael? Me? Hmm. It's been about a month, so... A month? Oh, I mean... Ten. I'm ten. So ten. Yeah. What do you mean, sure? I'm ten. What are you said ten... Is what we age we start out as, after all. Though sometimes he has this absurdly sardonic look on his face and claims I'm precious. Uh, uh, okay. 
I didn't know what the important words in that. I didn't know the important words in that sentence. Yeah, me neither. <laughs> I'm 24 and I didn't quite understand. But anyhow, it's starting to get late. I think you should go back soon. Oh yeah, Raphael helps you stand back up. Well, I'll go back to Restilia's purifier headquarters now. All right. Do you know your way back? Uh. Oh um. I don't actually. I'm kind of lost. <laughs> Come on, Iris, I'll take you there. Oh, are you sure? Don't you have to go home, too? Don't worry, the place where I live is near to Purifier Headquarters, too. And more importantly, I'm not going to leave you all by yourself. Oh, okay. The field took you by your head and it led the way. Huh, this is nice. But I almost can't feel your hand through all my bandages, Raphael. Huh, that's not good. But it's alright, don't worry about it. You'll get better, and won't have to get hurt anymore. Understand? Huh? Okay, I understand. Hey, Raphael. I was wondering earlier. You said that it's dangerous for us normal kids to wander off like this. But you're... I'll be fine, Iris. I'm not a normal kid either. Yeah, I know. The other normal kids never helped me like you do. Oh, huh? Don't worry, Iris, even if there's no one... No one else. I'm really strong, so I can protect you. I swear that I will. Aww, that's cute. Three years later. Ugh, Raphael. You notice that there's some kind of new magic circle under Raphael's hand. What's wrong, and what's that seal on your hand? This is nothing. Don't worry about it. It's something that I have to do. But it's hurting you, isn't it? Hmm? Maybe I should. Mm. You took hold of Raphael's hands and yours and kissed it. Aww. There. Aww. I'm kissing it to make it better. Aww, that's cute. It's cheesy, but this happens a lot in movies and things like that, right? Huh. I just kind of wanted to try it. Huh. This is a well-known thing to do. People are so strange. I would think that's a little delusional. Huh? Or, I mean, thank you, Iris. It feels better already. Oh, really? You aren't just saying that? Uh, don't worry, I mean it. Uh, uh, what was that? The air feels different and the music stopped. Some kind of fragmented creature appears before you and Raphael. That's a corrupted spirit, isn't it? The ones that the purifiers are supposed to deal with. Raphael calmly walks in front of you. Stay behind me, Iris. What, but, don't worry, this is nothing. Spirit approaches Raphael. Leave. The corrupted spirit left. Oh, it just left? You didn't purify, did you? No, I didn't. I just told it to leave, that's all. Wow. Maybe if we ask nicely, all the other corrupted spirits won't attack people, too. Huh, it doesn't work that way, Iris. It's only with me. Ah, uh, I thought so. But those spirits used to be people too, right? Why can't we talk it out? Talk it out, huh? I wouldn't exist if that had been possible, Sheepers. Excuse me. But I'm Raphael. Doesn't Restelia have a ward against corrupted spirits around it? We're still close enough to the city with for it to have some effect against weaker ones like that one. So how or why did it come here? Raphael looks at the seal on his hand. It must be because of me. Huh? What do you mean by that? Listen, Iris. Iris, you're important as a person, too. You have to remember that. Huh? Why are you saying this to me all of a sudden? And important? Because I have Iris' power, right? No, that's not right. Iris, you have to take care of yourself, even if... The adults don't help you, even if no one else does. Oh, even if you don't refuel? No, I, I want to stay with you and help you, but one day I may not be able to anymore. Even though I don't want to leave you all by yourself, I might have to. But I don't want you to leave. Aww. What did you say, Iris? Oh, um, nothing. I shouldn't say something like that. 
I better rely too much on Raphael. If you have to leave one day, Raphael, I'll do my best to be strong on my own. Iris, even if I'm shy, I'll try to make good friends. And I'm sure you've noticed already, but I've gotten a lot more I'm used to having Iris, Iris power over these past years. If I end up tripping, it's finally going to be my own fault. So I want to let you know, I'll work hard and be a great purifier, a Captain Rake one even. What, are you sure? Just because you have Iris powers, you don't have to be a, become a purifier. It could get really dangerous out there, Iris. I know, but still. I think helping and protecting others is what I want to do anyway. And I'll learn how to protect myself too. So I'll be okay. Alright. I believe you can do it too, Iris. But for now, I don't intend on going anywhere. So let's not worry about that and spend today like any other, okay? Okay. And just then, Iris, someone was calling out for you some ways away. Oh, that voice is... A certain person walks up to you and Raphael. Val? Phew, there you are, Iris. Oh, you're friends with Raphael, huh? Good afternoon, Governor Val. But Val will be just fine, kid. I told you before, right? Oh, right. Sometimes I wonder how old Val is. Val always dodges the question, so I stopped asking. Val, are you looking for me? Of course, I'm supposed to be your guardian now, you know. So at least tell me when you're going to go somewhere, alright? Oh. Alright. Good. Don't forget next time. Phew. I'm already tired from running around Ristelia looking for you. This is the first time I've had to look for look after someone. Sheesh. Does rumor you think I'm a babysitter or something? Where you did. Right, someone told Val to look after me. I shouldn't have caused Val trouble. Oh, um, I'm sorry, Val. I'm not used to it. Used to what? <laughs> um, people caring about where I go? Oh, I care now, so you'll have to get used to it. Okay? Okay. <laughs> Maybe looking after an earnest kid like you won't be so bad. Raphael watches as Val pats you on, your, on the head. Hmm. I'm glad. Good for you, Iris. And so, ten years later. Geez, these time skips. A new partner. Pointed your blade at the crooked spirit and focused. Here we go. You use your purifying powers on the spirit. You use your power to purify to corrupt the spirit. Phew, it went well again. Oh, thank you. Your fight spirit floats off. Another one of the rare ones that talk. Way to the purified spirit. I'm glad I could help. Goodbye. Can I see your next life? <laughs> I think that's the last of them for today. Just then. Oh, hey, Captain. Good work. Other purifiers join you. We purified the ones on our side, too. Sheesh, Captain. You cleared like three times as many as we did. We'll never catch up to you. Don't say that. Iris power gave me an advantage. But working hard is the most important part. Let's train together when we get back home, alright? Ha, <laughs> alright, Captain. Well, let's go home then. Yes, let's go. What's wrong, Cap? Out of the way. You push one of the purifiers out of harm's way. Ugh. The pure purifier. The corrupted spirit forced you down a cliff. Ouch. It looks like I fell into a ditch. When you use your sword to slow your fall, you're broken in the process. Ah, I'm sorry. What was that just now? You concentrate on your surroundings, but you don't feel anything out of the ordinary. Maybe it was just my imagination. And just then, Captain! You hear, the, you hear your allies calling out for you as they search. It was around here. This is her communication pendant. She asked me nearby. Where are you, Captain? Oh, I'm over here. Your allies caught up with you. Phew, you found me. Oh, jeez, Captain. Don't worry. I'm fine. Huh. Though I'd hate to think about what might have happened. 
and then stopped laughing. Val rushed to the scene. Huh, Val? What are you doing here? I came here after I heard that you fell down a cliff, obviously. Really? All this way from Restelia? Either just now took longer than I thought, or Val really didn't waste any time getting here. Jeez, Governor, you really didn't have to waste any time getting here. Yeah, you aren't even a purifier, you know? Ugh. Oh, I see, so it was the latter. It's okay, Val, don't worry. What do you mean, don't worry? You just fell down a cliff, you dummy. <laughs> How can I not be worried? Stop grinning like that. I'm fine. Nothing on me is broken. And I swear I didn't hit my head either. What are you talking about? Something's obviously wrong with you. Ugh, just stay there. I'll come get you. You're injured. So if you dare move a muscle, I'll seriously get mad at you. I'm fine, Val, really. Ugh, I'm serious, Iris. I'm really, really going to get mad at you. Not that I was that worried or anything. What do you mean, not that you were that worried? Sniffle! <laughs> I don't know. Uh, okay, okay. Don't cry, Val. I'm not crying. Okay. I don't know how Val is still denying that after all this time. <laughs> Soon after. Natoring your home in the city of Resteria. Resteria. Phew, what a lecture. It was a good idea to keep a handkerchief on me when I accidentally make Val cry. That's a little bit more often than I'd like. And just then... Iris. Oh, hello, Professor. Oh, right. I told you that we're equals by now. And you've already graduated a long time ago. I'm gonna see how long I've been going with this thing. Okay, 20 minutes is good enough. My butt hurts. <laughs> Catch you guys later. Stevie. And this has been Captain Bowman. Bye bye.